Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I have a comparison for you and a possible dupe for the Tarte Aspen Ovard palette. You guys have been asking and asking and asking for dupes for this palette and I just, I haven't been able to provide one for you, but now we just might have one. I picked up the new Tartlet Juicy palette. I saw this and I immediately thought, hmm, this just might be the best option a possible dupe for the Aspen Ovard palette, which I'm going to quickly show you. I had to open up a new one because I did do an eye look and kind of compare the two to see if they look the same on my eyes. And a uh, spoiler, I do have them both on right now. And can you tell a difference? <laughs> Let me know if you can. But this is the Tarte Aspen Ovard palette. This is a brand new one. Mine just, um, the one that I'm using right now, it just doesn't look that pretty. It's a uh, very, very used. It's my, I would say my most used palette. <laughs> Anywho, before I get into this video, I was having a hard time trying to decide whether or not I wanted to film the eye look in 4K and not be as close, but I think that you guys prefer me being closer to the camera, so I got out my old camera. Well, no, no, no. I got the stock lens for this camera, put it on, zoomed in, and then every time I was moving, it was like my, it just couldn't keep up. So I thought, all right, I'm gonna film with my old camera, zoom in, do my eye look, compare the two palettes. That one is in 1080p. I wasn't thinking about the fact that this is 4K and I don't think that you can do like half 4K and half 1080. So if this video is in all 1080, I apologize. I just wanted to be closer to the camera for you guys. Let me know what you prefer. If you want me to always stay in 4K, I have no issues with that. I just can't get as close. Or if you're a tech genius, cause um, I'm not, and you know a good lens that's really good with focusing and moving and all of that, when you're really close and it zooms well, and for the, uh, the Canon R6, let me know because I will definitely get another lens. I'm trying to really improve the quality of my video. So you guys, let me know. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna go over the new palette. Then we will get into the eye look. We'll see how similar they are. We'll look at swatches and everything. The new Tartlet Juicy palette has 20 shades in here and they are gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would have picked this palette up anyway. I know it's boring, <laughs> but I love pink palettes, you know, like pillow talk, things like that. And I'm, I'm just a sucker for them. So this spoke to me. I, I just like it. I think it is gorgeous. And all the shades in here are stunning and the textures are amazing. This is the Amazonian clay formula. So if you're familiar with that, that is what this is. And you do have a very large mirror on the inside. Very sturdy, very nice. It retails for $45. I don't see that it is a uh, limited edition palette. I'm on the Sephora site. I don't think it is. I could be wrong, but I don't see limited edition, which is good. The description reads that it's a next generation version of Tarte's cult classic Tartlet palettes. So this palette features 20 rosy and bronze shades. There's 10 mattes, four pearlescent shades, and six metallic finishes arranged in rows to create effortless natural looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the swatches. The first row is Water Lily, Paradise, Rose, Orchid, Dream Chaser. Then we have Wishful, Blossom, Wildflower, Petal, and Luscious. Moving on to the third row, Inspiring, Shine, Fresh Start, Dawn, and Charmed. And then lastly, Reflect, Happiness, Dusk, grounded and euphoric. 
In the limited edition Aspen Ovard palette, there were nine shadows. Then you had a blush and a highlight, but I'm not gonna show you the swatches of this quite yet because I want it to be, I don't know, a surprise at the end of the video. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you guys this look, and then we'll get into the comparisons. I'm gonna start off with the Aspen Ovard palette using the Zoeva 227 in the shade High School Sweetheart. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Then I'm gonna buff it up into the crease. Basically smoking out this shade entirely. I'm doing just like one of my go-to looks to see if it's gonna be similar in the new palette. It's kind of funny because I'm applying this shade and I can tell it looks a little different. <laughs> and I think it's because this is a brand new Aspen Ovard palette. The other one, the one I've been using, I think is slightly lighter right now because, well, it's old. <laughs> it's probably faded a little bit. The formula's probably, I don't want to say deteriorated because I still love it, but I think it's probably a little different. And just FYI, I did not set my primer and today I am using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. As you can see, this blends out very easily. I love this color. It's one of my favorite one and done shades. Refer number three, and I'm gonna buff this right along the lower lash line. On a clean Zoeva 227, I'm now gonna go into the new palette and I'm gonna grab the shade Happiness. I'm going to apply this exactly the same. When I was swatching the shades in the palette, this is the shade that I thought was the closest to the one in Aspen Ovard. I do think the formula is a little different. I think this one's just like a little bit more creamy, maybe. Again, blending it up into the crease transition area just to blow it out. I'm building up the shade from Aspen Ovard a little bit. Because I think these are pretty similar. And then again, same thing on the opposite side. I wanna make sure I have the same amount of product. Another clean refer number three, still going in with the shade Happiness from the new palette. And I am buffing this underneath the lash line, lower lash line. Sponge just to clean up the outside edge. Going back in with the Zoeva 227, I am now going to take the shade Road Trip. I'm going to buff this on my outer corner to deepen up, add a little bit of depth. Bring it into the crease a little bit. Yeah, this, this palette definitely has a little bit more pigmentation than my old Aspen Ovard. But I didn't think it would be fair to use the old one and then a new palette. You know what I mean? 
Zoeva 227 New Palette in the shade Grounded. Again, doing the same thing on this side. Building up Road Trip a little bit over here. Tiny bit more of Grounded. Esam W21 Aspen Ovard and the shade Married Life. I'm going to softly highlight the brow. Got a little too much. There we go. Buffing it into the other shades so you have a nice blend. Another ESMW21 in the shade Wishful. I love the smell of these palettes. They smell kind of like chocolate, but not like really intense. It's just soft. I can't believe how similar these are. It's making me so excited. Aspen Ovard Palette, MAC 228, and Endless Summer. I'm going to pop this on my inner corner. New palette in the shade Reflect. I'm going to go back in with the 228 and grab the shade Brilliance from the Aspen Ovard palette. I'm just going to lightly highlight just the brow arch. Water Lily from the new Tartlet palette. Again, same thing. Refer number three, Tea Time from Aspen Ovard. I'm going to deepen up the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with Charmed from the new palette. Then I am going to go add on liner and mascara, and we'll do some swatches. I am so excited, you guys. I <laughs> When I was looking at this palette, I mean, if you put these side by side, they just don't look to me, in my personal opinion. I think it's because there's so many pinks in the new palette that they were going to be so similar. I am so excited. I love this palette so much. I talk about it all the time. I've already told you guys a million times I could not stand this palette when I first got it. And then all of a sudden it was like I, I used it more and I used it more and I fell in love. It's my favorite soft palette to go to. It's just easy. And now I have another, well, <laughs> I've got my original, I have my backup, and I feel like I have another one. There are a few exceptions. There's two shades in here that I don't think are replicated in the new palette, but that's okay. That's okay. And did anybody catch the swatches on Trend Mood? I saw the swatches for the palette, and I was like, what is that? <laughs> So weird and then when I was looking at those swatches I was thinking I don't know I don't know if it's gonna be the same and I wasn't sure even whenever I was applying them to my eyes but I'm shocked I even asked my daughter I literally just took her to work and then came back <laughs> and I said does it look like I have two different palettes on my eyes she said no do you and I was like yes <laughs> I am so happy I know this is such a boring palette, but sometimes boring palettes are fun. I really enjoy them and I really like the quality of this palette. I think that this is just a little bit creamier. I'm not sure if there's actually any difference in the formula or if it's just because even though this one was just opened up, it is still an older palette. So I don't know if that's it, but there is just a slight difference. 
most people probably wouldn't even notice the difference. Let's just put it that way. It is beautiful. The two shades that I don't think are in the new palette are actually the, the one that I used the most, Santorini Sands. This looks like nothing. It kind of looks like Mac Brulee in the palette, but it's, it's a little deeper than, just like a hair deeper than my skin tone when it's applied to an unset eye primer and it's just beautiful. So I do wish that shade was in this palette, but I'm not mad at it. And then the other shade that I don't think is in here is, well, hold on, let me just get the new one. <laughs> Wonderlust right here. Those are the only two shades that you're not gonna get in the new palette. So if you are looking for a dupe, or I would say that this is the Aspen Ovard palette extended. It's the extended version and I'm just so happy that they did it because there's so many people that missed out on the Aspen Ovard palette and I just love it so much. I'm so happy. I'm sure it's just written all over my face but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the swatches and you'll see them side by side and they might look a little different when they're swatched but on the eyes I mean you can tell you can tell how similar they are. So let's go ahead and look at them side by side. I really love the added peachy tones in here, like inspiring. I really like the shade Fresh Start, Petal, and then these pinks, Rose. Oh my gosh, that rose is so gorgeous. And the browns at the bottom and all of that, they're gorgeous. There are some subtle differences in the shades. Let me just finger swatch them for you really quickly. Heart of Gold in the Aspen Ovard. And then this is Dawn. This one is just slightly deeper, but again, on the eyes, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. Endless Summer in Aspen Ovard. Reflect. All right, so you can see, again, just a subtle, subtle difference. So it's not an exact dupe, but yeah, you're gonna get pretty much the same looks as I have mentioned. So don't expect it to be exactly the same, but basically the same. <laughs> Anywho, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'm sorry I didn't do multiple looks with this. If you would like to see more looks, I am open to doing that. It's just I really wanted to see if the shades in the Aspen Ovard palette were similar to the ones that are in the new Juicy palette. It's confusing to me. I don't know that I like the name. <laughs> something about it. I feel like it should have been called like some type of flower or something, but that's just me being nitpicky. I will continue to use this. I will update you guys and let you know if there's any shades that do not perform well. But like I said, I just wanna know if this was a dupe or at least comparable so that I could let you guys know as soon as possible. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see all of you beauties in my next video. Bye guys.